Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been some time, but I think it's time for another modification. And this time we're actually gonna modify the headlights. Current modification that I have on the headlights is all OEM looking, but in the inside I have the HID conversions on, I have the dial dynamic uh, switchbacks. So far those things have served me very well and I recommend anyone to get them. But it's time for me to switch them out because I want something more modern. I want something to bring more uh, of a crowd to see when she's at car shows. And overall, I just love the functionality of these new headlights. And these headlights are from Subi Speed. They're the version twos and they have the eight accent of red trim around the headlights and they're blacked out. They're just all around amazing. I got some other surprises too, but that's a different time and a different, a different place. But without further ado guys, let's get to it. All right, so it's all unpacked, and a few things that it comes with, with the version two, is it's gonna come with the LED flash relay, so that way you don't have to hyperblink. Gonna have the uh, fuse to add a fuse. And then I believe last time I saw that this was the fog light adapter or daytime running light adapter, but the version two does a lot of changes and, rev and revises a lot of things, so you don't have to worry about plugging all kinds of different wires, which I really enjoyed as well. Let's take a look at these headlights. Very clean. So this is the red accent that comes around between the daytime running lights, the turn signal. Um, all this came together uh, very well and I opted to make sure I got the red just because I already have red in the car so it just makes it match. Okay, so we got the hood open but there's a lot of clips and a lot of uh, bolts to take off so uh, we're not gonna go into detail just because there's so many people who show you how to take your bumper off but I will give you a quick overview and then we'll just time lapse to basically taking the bumper off and then um, going from there other than that let's get started man what you're gonna need to take off okay is going to be all right here all right we're gonna have to take off these bolts here and then underneath the car is about an equal amount of clips that you have to take off as well. So the bumper's off. That was the sort of easy part. Uh, it just depends on how much clips, extra wires you have like myself and whatever other kind of road blocks you might have. But all in all, it's pretty easy. Like I said, a bunch of clips, a uh, bunch of bolts and screws. Um, my setup has a little bit different because I have the dress up bolts. So you'll see a little extra steps, but the concept's the same. So the next thing we have to do now is take off the uh, light bracket and then we have to remove, looks like two bolts and one clip, and that's for each side, okay? Okay, so uh, all the screws are off, including the ones on top of the headlight. The last one is holding it in, so just be careful when you let that go. Again, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. There's a bracket for the headlight. When you have the headlights off, there will be one main harness that's like right here, okay? And you just have to push it in pull it off. Okay, so uh, a little a little bit more of a close-up of the headlights. You can see, like I said, the red accent and they took out the high beam just because they wanted to put your new LED accent in there for uh, daytime uh, driving. These are so nice. Swapping the headlights and getting all the wiring cleaned up, I did notice that um, the factory headlights come with the bracket and the 
Subi speed ones do not. Not a big deal. You just gotta take them off. And what you do is you get a little pick if you have one or something flat. And there's a little crevice right here. That's why I said get a pick. And you can see when you do that, it lifts up right there. Like that. So once you feel and look, and you can see that groove lift up, just pull or wiggle a little bit. Might take a little finagling. There we go. Now that that's out, you can just wiggle it. And there you go. So we'll take this bracket off both headlights and put it onto the new one so that way the headlights aren't dangling around. For now, we'll put the temporary bolt in. So right here is your turn signal. Um, it's just gonna be plug and play like I mentioned. Go into your fog, how, uh, fog lights. And this right here is a daytime running lights, but we'll have to show that once we get the wires routed. For now, I just wanna show you guys the big difference of how they look from afar. So let's go ahead and back it up. So you can already see the difference right off the bat. This is gonna be the uh, oh, my current setup, which is the OEM converted to HIDs. Uh, and this side, which you can barely see from the video, is the new uh, Subi Speed version two. So let's go ahead and get it turned on. That's it. Very nice, fun install. Um, I gotta still put everything together, gotta get the wiring corrected, but this is a big difference between you got this one versus the stock. All right, guys. That install was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I actually enjoyed installing them. This doesn't take that long. It's about maybe a three hour job at most, taking your time. It all, it, it really is truly a plug and play kit. I just went a different route very, very highly suggest that you uh, take your time with this install. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching so much. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and drop me a comment. I really enjoy reading all the comments that I get for these kind of videos and I hope to see you guys in the future. Remember, dreams are never simple. All right, guys, later.